Well, Donald Trump still hasn't learned his lesson, and he never will. He is now crying foul about the GOP primary taking place in Pennsylvania. Now, at the time that I record this video, we still don't have the results. The race is too close to call, with Dr. Oz narrowly leading by about 1,700 votes, with 98% of precincts reporting. And we probably won't find out who actually will win until a day or two. But um, Trump decided to take to uh, social media, Truth Social to be exact, and put out a tweet or rather a truth, I guess that's what he's calling them, about how Dr. Oz should just declare victory right now to stop his opponents from cheating. He writes, Dr. Oz should declare victory. It makes it much harder for them to cheat with the ballots that they just happen to find. Now, this is a GOP primary. Are Republicans going to cheat against Republicans? Because he's maintained that it's the Democrats who always cheat. So in this instance, they're cheating again? Why? See, the thing is that it's very, very obvious. If an election doesn't go his way, then by definition, it's rigged. If it goes his way, then it's not rigged. That's the way he operates. But there's a very specific reason, I think, why he decided to make this tweet. It's because Dr. Oz's opponent, who Trump did not endorse, by the way, he said something that uh, might have set off a red flag in Trump's head, given the conspiracy uh, theories that Trump believes. Take a look. Now we're going to we're going to win this campaign. We're going to win this campaign. And uh, and tomorrow right now we have tens of thousands of, of mail in ballots that have not been counted that are going to need to be counted beginning tomorrow. And uh, and so that's uh, unfortunately we're not going to have resolution tonight, but we can see the path ahead. We can see victory ahead, and it's all because of you. So thank you, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so that right there is probably why Trump made that tweet, or truth. It's such a stupid name for a platform. Um, because of mail-in ballots. He believes that mail-in ballots are inherently fraudulent, and therefore, if there's mail-in ballots involved, then it's always going to benefit the people who... He doesn't support somehow. It's not like they're going to benefit him ever. It's always going to benefit the people who he doesn't like. I mean, that doesn't even make sense, but it's Donald Trump. So trying to understand his logic is completely pointless. But here's the thing. Oz right now is leading. We don't necessarily know what's going to happen. 98% of precincts are reporting. If it is the case that Dr. Oz actually does win... Then what? Is Trump, uh, Trump going to come out and apologize and say, look, I was wrong to think that there was going to be foul play here? Of course, David McCormick, you know, he would never have rigged this election against Dr. Oz. Um, I, I apologize for misleading you. Of course, he's not going to do that. He'd never, ever do that. It's Donald Trump we're talking about. This is a compulsive liar who lies so much that he probably isn't even aware of the fact that he's lying when words come out of his mouth. So, I, I mean, this isn't surprising. We've dealt with this guy for four years, um, which is far too long, and we'll be dealing with him for the foreseeable future. So this is just his antics. If he doesn't like something, his instinct is to throw a temper tantrum and claim they're uh, treating me unfairly. They're rigging it. It's a uh, it's bias. Like, this is what he does. That's his shtick. But meanwhile, while Trump is claiming that, you know, this race may be... Uh, unfairly biased against Dr. Oz, or they could be rigging it against Dr. Oz. Well, another candidate in this race, Kathy Barnett, who came in third place, she's crying foul herself, but for very different reasons that are actually legitimate. Take a look. I do want to say, never forget what Sean Hannity did in this race. Almost single-handedly, Sean Hannity so deep seas of disinformation, flat out lies every night for the past five days. And that was just extremely hard to overcome, apparently. And yet over 300,000 of you came out. You refuse to be tricked and bamboozled. You refuse to believe the lies because that's exactly what they were. Now, listen, I am glad that she lost because in this race, she was the most extreme candidate that was electorally viable. She literally marched on January 6th with the Proud Boys. She's an actual insurrectionist. So somebody who actually doesn't believe in democracy should be nowhere near power ever. But... What she says here about Sean Hannity is correct, because Sean Hannity, he brought on Dr. Mehmet Oz, and 
decided to attack Kathy Barnett when she started to surge in the polls and become a threat. And uh, when Dr. Oz addressed his uh, followers at a rally last night, well, he had a thank you message for Sean Hannity that basically confirms what Kathy Barnett says here. I want to thank Sean Hannity. <laughs> Sean's like a brother to me. When Sean punches through something, he really punches through it. Uh, he understands exactly how to make a difference, and he's been doing that this en entire campaign. Uh, much of it behind the scenes, giving me advice on late-night conversations. Again, the kinds of things that true friends do for each other. So Dr. Oz right there is admitting that one of the most major political pundits in the country at the number one news network in America is colluding with him behind the scenes to help give him a boost, not just advice, but using his gigantic platform to sway the results of this race. Now, this isn't necessarily new for Sean Hannity. Uh, I believe it was him that spoke at a Trump rally, which is bizarre to me because if you purport to be a serious news person, then in theory, you'd want to make it appear as if you're impartial, right? You're not choosing a side, you're just covering the facts as they are, but you're not going to share your own personal opinion. But we know that Sean Hannity, he doesn't play by the rules of journalistic ethics in D.C. at all. So, you know, when Kathy Barnett says, you know, maybe Sean Hannity single-handedly tanked our campaign, she's not necessarily wrong. But it's a little bit ironic to me that the literal insurrectionist who was there on January 6th She's not the one who's crying foul. I mean, she's claiming that she lost because a media figure helped, you know, uh, sink her campaign. But she's not claiming that this race was rigged because of mail-in ballots. The individual who's claiming that is Donald Trump when his candidate is pulling ahead. Now, it may be by, you know, about 1,700 votes, but he's still pulling ahead. And still you're claiming, well, you should do the undemocratic thing and declare victory just so they can't find ballots anywhere. I mean... At the end of the day, what's the difference between Dr. Oz and David McCormick? In my mind, uh, they're ideologically the same. I, I don't really think they have any ideological principles, especially Dr. Oz. But I don't like Dr. Oz in particular because he's a celebrity. And I don't want to normalize rich and famous people running for office because I think that qualified people who actually care, who are working class themselves, should be the ones who are running for office. So that's why if I had to choose, I'd pick David McCormick in this race. But when it comes to how they're going to vote in the Senate, what they're going to go along with, you know, they're just going to be puppets for Mitch McConnell and the GOP and Trump if he ever becomes the president again. God forbid, knock on wood, but you know, it's possible. So what's the difference functionally? Why is it different between Dr. Oz and David McCormick to Trump anyways, that it's necessary to literally rig the election? So, you know, I just wanted to give you an update. The GOP primary in Pennsylvania is an absolute mess. And um, if Dr. Oz does not actually win, then you can count on more conspiracy theories for Donald Trump because he hasn't harmed democracy enough by delegitimizing, you know, what's left of our institutions. Now he's going to say, well, there's more foul play here because it didn't go the way that I wanted it to go. And this is going to be just what he does going forward because it's Donald Trump. He doesn't care about democracy. He just cares about his own self-aggrandizement. And if he becomes the president again, then he wants someone in office like Dr. Mehmet Oz, who's going to be a very loyal soldier for him. So yeah, we'll leave that there. Do you enjoy watching independent news shows like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, and The Majority Report, but oftentimes YouTube doesn't deliver our videos to your subscription box? Well, I've got a solution for you. It's called the Opt Out app, available right now in the iOS App Store, coming soon to Android. Opt Out is an app made by and for progressives where they take all of the most popular independent news shows and they put them in one convenient location. You'll find all your favorites on there like The Humanist Report, The Rational National, The Majority Report, and the app is updated multiple times per day, so your news feed is constantly up to date. If you enjoy watching independent media, this is the app to get. Download it today. Do yourself a favor and click the join button on YouTube to become a member. Because Mike's doing a great job getting to watch his videos before everyone else is tremendous. Many people are saying this. Join today, folks. You won't regret it.